Well, we've got away to uh, the Totem uh, Test Site 1, uh, one of the first uh, atomic blasts set off. Radiation hazard, radiation levels for a few hundred metres around this point may be above considered safe for permanent occupation. Test Site Totem, an atomic, a British atomic weapon, was test exploded here in 1953. There you go. Oh, it feels warm. Must be the radiation, eh? Jim's made it down here. And he's glad to see... Jim's very glad to see we've got a bit of space junk down there. That, uh, so, uh, it's all happening out here. There's, there's not a lot of trees around this general vicinity just here. Well, what do you reckon, Ian? Well, there's a bit of debris here. Can we put this together and make something? Well, Jim said he wanted to see some debris, so... Well, there's plenty of it there for him. This is supposed to be the remains of uh, Sherman tanks. And, is it? Isn't it? There's a nice little tent tank for you, Jim. Yeah, but isn't this supposed to be the... Didn't they have some German... Like, some big bulldozers and... Yeah, um, I imagine they would have done something. To see what... It was a test explosion, Jim, and yeah. I imagine they would have done that. Look at the railway iron. Yeah. Look how that's been. Yeah. Yes, that could that could have been the remains of. Uh, well, look, there's uh, old Murray likes looking at things like this. Have a look at this, Murray. Um, he bent a bit there, and he got a bit of bent up stuff there. Like Jim said, it's probably the remains of uh, various articles of war that they left for uh, to be exposed to the blast. We've got a railway iron here that's got a few woofs in it. And um, it's a good spot for a photo opportunity here. Here's a good crankshaft. you got a good crankshaft. There you are, Dave Warden. Look, I tell you what, look, that man can get anything running. I tell you what, bit of trouble there. Uh, we might take this back to you, Dave. And he's got a big end knock problem. We wonder where he gets to. Actually, that looks in better condition than the old crankshaft that came out of the Nissan Dowdy. She's bugger, isn't it? Well, I think it's seen better days, put it that way. Look at this, look how that's been. Anyway, we're going to go and have a look at uh, Totem 2, which in the sequence of Totems is where they set off the second blast here at Emu. Be over there, yeah, it's yeah. down that way. This is Totem 2. We've got the same sort of thing out here, Murray. Got the sheared off bolts from the bottom of the tower where they exploded the, uh, the bombs. There's a power, uh, uh, tower um, foundation there, there's a tower foundation here, tower foundation here, blown to, and there's another tower foundation over here. Test site Totem 2, a British atomic weapon was test exploded here on the 27th of October 1953. Uh, radiation hazard. So the tower was over here, Murray. There's the four legs around the obelisk here. So the, the explosion actually went off up there, all right? And uh, it's all very good, eh? Once again, you got an area around here with not many trees. You got my brother over there videoing, see that? And uh, the observation point was, uh, well, I should say good observation. We're on that high ground over there, but they reckon it's about eight kilometres away. So Lenny was standing with his back to the blast, around about eight kilometres down that way, or over that way, I think. We'll go over there and have a look, eh? Alongside the road, coming back from the two totems, I saw this. Looks like a uh, tow rope for a Nissan, but it's actually the um, 
I believe it's the uh, the armoured communications cable used to uh, communicate between the observation um, post, which is where we're going, and um, the bomb site to uh, transmit some of the information that they required back to the uh, back to the base, so they could uh, tell what happened. But um, he's fairly uh, he's fairly tough, eh? This is on the road back to the observation site. There's Jim coming up there. And um, there's the road that we came down to the observation point here. And uh, that's where the bombs went off. One there and one out there. And up here at a beautiful, nice, high little uh, escarpment. And uh, we've got foundations and various little things here. Um, this is where old uh, Lenny and Mr. Penny stood with their backs to the blast and um, would have made quite an impressive sight boom up there in the bush and uh, they saw the ripples of the, uh, the blast heading towards them in the scrub uh, before it finally hit them and blew their hats off here as Lenny said, um, uh, do you think we're far enough away? And he said, we'll be all right, we'll be all right. Very quiet spot now. Back in 1953, there was a big bang. <laughs>